verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Okay, this is incorrect. Let's go back. First verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. Okay. So, what the speaker is trying to say is that this im at the end of the word Allah or Ella means to show respect, and this is incorrect. What it is, is a perversion, okay? These are the things that they went back in the scriptures and wrote in. At the end of the day, the word in Shemitic languages for the creator is Allah. We also have a personal name in Hebrew, Yahweh, okay? But when we refer to him, it is inappropriate and blasphemous to pronounce Elohim to call him Elohim, because rightfully, this im at the end of this Hebrew word is not a show of respect, but it indicates plurality. So if we say Elohim or Elohim, we're saying gods, okay? Now this is in keeping with the so-called Trinity that is taught in Christian doctrine and the Trinity that we find in pagan worship so we have to correct this when we see elohim written in the hebrew just understand this is a perversion and it is not a sign of respect but it is an indication of plurality and this cannot be argued meaning god created the heavens and the earth the word god in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. So what we can confirm here, as we see the word Elah mentioned in the Bible, this is the same Allah of the Quran. This is the same Yahweh mentioned in the Bible. Okay? So we have to understand this and remember that the Bible and the original scriptures of Torah and Nebaim and Ketubim, these were written before the Quran. And so as we see the word Allah printed in the Quran, for those who don't understand or those who didn't realize it, this is the same Allah mentioned in Quran that was previously mentioned in the Bible. We're not talking about a moon god or a separate deity. No, this is indeed the Allah of Israel, the same exact deity. And so we do find the word Allah printed in the Bible. And it was in the Bible first. And we will also find it in the Quran. So when you hear people speaking against this name, Allah, they are indeed speaking against the deity of the Bible and the Torah and the prophets. It was by this same deity, Yahweh Allah, that the prophets received revelation. It was this same deity that revealed the law. And so when you hear people trying to undermine Islam, undermine Quran, undermine Bible, it's the same Allah that they are disrespecting. And when you see the plural added to his name, this is the ultimate disrespect. Because he said he alone is the deity, the creator, and the only one worthy of worship. Now, how we can confirm this is read the Quran 
He reminds the people of Israel of the things that he did for them in the past. And he did all this through the spirit of revelation. And he has only spoken through Hebrew prophets, which Muhammad was. And we can see this through Hadith and through the things that Muhammad said from his own mouth. But when we read the information from the Quran, he reminds the children of Israel of the things he did for them in the past and what he required of them in the future. And this confirmed his identity for all those who recognize the spirit of Yahweh Allah. 